right, uh, this is Alex Voskov and welcome back to Agil Studio. Today uh, I'm show you how to uh, how we use uh, focus stacking in our macro photography. You do several shots of uh, one subject and then you combine them together. But the difference between each shot is where we have focus point on that object. Uh, there are two ways to to move focus uh, through the object. One, which is not right, by the way, uh, to change a focusing point by uh, adjusting the lens focus. And uh, but the correct way to do it uh, is to move a uh, camera towards the subject or backward, depends on where the focus is, to move focusing point. What do we need for focus stacking? This is a uh, macro focusing rails. You can move the camera by rotating this uh, micrometric uh, dial, or how you call it. Uh, so we can have very, very, very uh, small adjustments of the position camera uh, to the subject. Uh, let's go to the lighting setup uh, and uh, to the, our subject. Uh, we have only two light sources, one on the left side and one on the back, the softbox, it's a strip uh, softbox. Our bracelet is actually uh, hidden under two foam boards. One is completely white on that side and one is grey and our main light source which is this light is not directly hitting the bracelet instead it's highlighting area in front of it and the side uh, refle diffuser reflector how you call it the grey one why I use a grey? grey is Kind of, it, it can be white or it can be black, depends on how high light. No light, it will be black. More light, it will be almost white. But the gray, it's easier to get uh, the light and fall off from the that spot, so it's faster gets to darker areas. Why I need so? Our bracelet is a silver, and it's not just a, like white silver. It has its flowers, and uh, the flowers, it's. Uh, kind of darkish a little bit, so I need to be sure it will show the actual uh, color of the bracelet. Okay, let's start shooting. The first shoot is done. Uh, as we see, I got in a focus the very, very uh, front of the bracelet, which is that uh, ring. The rest is getting blurry, blurry and even more blurry so let's move camera to the next point ok, now we got this piece in the focus ring is still in but we slowly moving focus toward the end of the bracelet. One more. Okay. This what I believe to be the last shot. We have the last piece of the bracelet in the focus. And the rest is really blurred. And now we can start stitching it together. Uh, we got uh, all our images, 12 images selected. And it's in bridge, right? Uh, we go tools, Photoshop. For the merge. 
Photoshop CS5 extended. I'm not sure if it's regular version uh, has the same uh, feature. Maybe yes, maybe not. Truly, I don't know. So it gets loaded. And uh, we use auto. We unselect blend images together. And as you see, we have all 12 images here, which we selected in, uh, in the bridge. So I just click OK. Now uh, it loads uh, all those images into the one file on the different layers. All right. We have our image. Now we need to select all of the layers and go to edit auto blend layers, right? And we just select stack images. Not a panorama, but stack images. Okay, we got our image. And now we can take a look at the whole image. The cool thing that it's not just stuck in focus. Because uh, we have uh, like 12 images, we probably may do only 5, but I did 12 to get that extra details, extra resolution on the image. And you see how cool it looks. Every tiny detail is in focus.